All right, I want to give you all a sneak peek of um, the house, the tribe house so during dinner time. I'll show you, I, and I was thinking about showing you the kitchen, but I figured I would show in my room first, and I was tempted to like clean up, but let me just give a crib style bathroom. What I'm most proud of is the rock sacks. I think they're like a great zen practice. These are stacked in a way that if an eruption happens, they might fall. And that kind of reminds me of the repercussions of potentially not being in control of my emotional state or my physical state, like slamming a door or forgetting about the wind and stuff like that. So it's kind of a cool accountability factor anyways. You can see some of them up there. And uh, before dinner here, I was about to just take some supplements. I'll show you what I'm taking. The Biomedic, I mean, from Purium, regardless if you're into the business side of it or not, if you want to get this Biomedic, allegedly after two months of use, it's a prebiotic, probiotic blend, it removes 70 plus percent of glyphosate from people's guts, according to clinical studies. And that is, um, glyphosate's the key ingredient in Ready Roundup. And Roundup, um, I think was owned by Bayer, which was acquired by Monsanto. So if you want to find the truth about that, maybe follow the dollars. So I'm gonna take a biomedic. I'm taking, uh, I took those earlier. This is when I take a, eat a big meal like I did last night, I ate a whole pizza. I would take some of those enzymes. Zinc, so zinc, so my prophylactic um, microdose to, I think, be ahead of the times with the current cultural coronavirus symptoms, I would say, regardless of whatever you believe about it, zinc mixed with um, vitamin C, mixed with quinine, which you can find in tonic water. This is the tonic water that I found that has the least amount of like added ridiculousness. That is a, allegedly, you gotta watch the video I did my dad on Instagram, who's been a pharmacist for over 40 years. And you know, they're blocking doctors. They're talking about quiet, um, what's the, what is the blend? It's like Zithromax with the anti-malaria quinine sulfate. They allegedly, like, there's doctors that are just having 100% cure results of the symptoms of what they're calling the corona, and those videos are being censored. Some of them that I watched, I'm like, what? And then this Perium, I've been trying a variety of Perium products because they seem so pure and premium, living up to the brand. This Heart Aid, I know one thing it has, in, a few things it has in it is garlic and cayenne. It's almost like a miniature little... Uh, appetizer with this, but let me show you. Uh, let me introduce you to some of the roommates. There's the room, this is the editing machine for the videos that you're seeing. That's the book, Breaking Normal. That's a good one. <laughs> Go ahead on Audible. So I wanted to give a little sneak peek to the kitchen at the sunset hours because there's a lot of stuff going on in here, including <laughs> Super Dad over here is taking your kids through a cleanse of sorts. Is that correct? That's right. What if he had some like uh, gut issues and uh, beginning of like insulin sensitivity, and also had a couple like uh, maybe autoimmune markers, and so the doctor suggested we do like a cleanse diet, which is definitely fun for a nine-year-old and a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> And but what yeah. is the cleanse? It sounds like smoothies, broths. And... Yeah, the first like seven days, like smoothies, broths. Um, you can put chicken, vegetables, and stuff in it. So it's not like a total crazy cleanse at least, but it's uh, definitely a good one. So right now I got like some bison and leeks uh, sauteing. You're cooking bison too? Yeah. Oh, nice. You got bison too? Yeah. yeah I got bison. Bison's the... Bison is a theme. Yeah, it's a theme That's right a theme. now. <laughs> and then you're doing the diet with them. And then Stephanie Kwong, <laughs> other housemate, first time on the vlog, I think. Are you doing this diet as well? I sure am. You're gonna do it with them, not only help prepare with them, but she's good for it. Yeah. It's we got my mom, my dad to do it. Whoa, uh, whoa. This is a team effort. Yeah. So I think that's, that sounds like a pretty, let me just make sure I understand it, since other people, who knows, someone might be watching this and inspired to try it. Just, what is the parameters? What's the creative constraints? So basically the first seven days is a lot of broths and just like vegetables and a little bit of different berries they can have. Smoothies. Um, and smoothies and stuff. 
But other than that, it's pretty much, you know, you're getting rid of nuts, eggs, um, all rice, grains, um, milks, pretty much, you know, anything sugar completely too, to eliminate everything from your diet and then start to add things back in and see, you know, how it's affecting your stomach. I think the goal is that, you know, all this will help you heal her gut lining to where some of the foods that bother her, or, you know, things that are bothering her won't bother her anymore. And then you'll kind of add back and each one at a time and be able to see which ones are causing her the most problems. Well, on the note of that and some clean eating, this is a bison top sirloin. <laughs> and I learned some interesting things about bison today. So allegedly there's about 750,000 bison currently in North America or the United States. I don't know if it's North America or the United States, one of the two. And allegedly bison were the most prevalent animal in North America at one point before the 1900s where there was over a hundred million of them. But something to do with when the Europeans came and wanted to control the indigenous people, allegedly there was a mass slaughtering of bison because the native people depended, like the bison herds were like the whole foods to the modern day human. It was just like, oh, there's the bison herd, we're good. We got clothing, we got shelter, we got food, we got the spirit of the bison, we got it all. So I guess from my understanding, <laughs> the people, they figured out how to control the indigenous people, they would isolate the bison herds so they would isolate the indigenous people on a reservation of sorts. So this is pretty fascinating. I think bison, I have a question for you and anyone in this, anyone, I've been trying to figure this out. What is the meat on the market that's the most genetically intact? Meaning that the genetics are the most similar to before Europeans came here. And I think it might be bison or elk or some sort of fish or birds. But then it becomes kind of a controversial thing for like what's available on the market legally to sell. Like is moose or caribou maybe the answer. I don't know, but sneak peek of the kitchen. I'm gonna get this cooking to be continued. <laughs>